like we've been touring forever, so like fine tuning everything and figuring everything out in like seven years of touring, you know. Um, finally, we're at a place where like my team, like music, like the promo, the hype, everything, the fans, everything's kind of like really coming together. And this is like the team that I really am proud to present, you know. So now that things are kind of like heating up and I'm really picking up as far as numbers and fans and everything, um, I'm glad that this is where we're at. And uh, you know, it feels good. I think it's, and it has been hard because you know, being Mexican in a predominantly maybe rock venue sort of circuit, but doing hip hop is like you're, you have three cultures that you're kind of putting together. So now we're at a place where like, I feel like people are finally getting it. Like I could crowd surf and I could sing mariachi and like everybody kind of understands where we're at. Everything, I feel like everything. I have a dead pinata out there on three legs right now. You know, I have a mariachi panda. We crowd surf, we throw water, we do this like, rock style like you know head banging type like you know show but then at the same time we mix our spanish culture you know our hispanic culture mexican latino overall like reggaeton there's reggaeton vibes there's r&b vibes and then there's hip-hop there's rap there's rap from the south there's it's, it's like so many things in one that i feel like you really can't get this anywhere else and that's what I pride myself in, you know what I'm saying? From from having like eight fans in the crowd to now having thousands or how, wherever we're at, I feel like I pride myself in the fact that we, you really can't see it anywhere. And this is probably the first interview that I would say that where I'm like really priding, not just, not just myself in this, but just like really putting on, like these are two young Hispanic artists and I was doing a lot of interviews on my last tour and they were like, you know, if you believe in Latinos so much, like who are some Latinos that you look up to or that you think are gonna do what you're doing? And I really looked around and even though I respect a lot of people that are out there doing it, I really wanted people that are really going to represent our culture right and like both bilingual and talented and that really have their heart in the right place and all that. And so I went out there and I really looked around and I was like, I want to find the people that are really going to do it right. I feel like it's, it's, in a, it's in a place where it's getting its footing still, you know. Um, I don't think it's correctly represented by everybody. What I want to do is actually represent us correctly you know what i'm saying not do the corny gimmicky like here i am you know with the taco like look at me it's more about like what are we really doing and do you know the culture and do you know what we really want and um that's where i come in and i'm like not hating on people but i'm just kind of being like if you're gonna do it just do it right and i think we're doing it right well so like last night I caught the end of it, but it was kind of like already what I expected, only because it felt that way when we walked in. And it was just like, we walked in as a crew, obviously, and we're all obviously this skin tone. So like, we look a little different <laughs> out here. And we just kind of got like this weird look, weird vibe right off the top. Um, they were looking at Snow a little crazy. Like this lady, right? She had like the super saltiest face ever. And at that point, we just started showing like our pride and our culture because it, it was evident. It was about that, like, what are y'all doing here everybody, kind of thing. Imagine walking into a room and everybody goes like this. And we're just like, mind you, I'm not the darkest Mexican. As a matter of fact, a lot of Mexicans give me shit for being light skinned and speaking about Mexicans. So I'm, I'm, to, to this day, I'm like, how do I get so much shit from Mexicans about speaking about Mexicans and then also get shit from racist people about looking like I do? I'm like, I don't understand why I'm such a middle child in this. It's more once you start getting towards the South or the Midwest where you're just like a little bit, bigger cities, obviously it's, you know, whatever, but it's weird, you know? But the biggest, the best thing that you could do is just kind of be passive aggressive and be smile. And I walked up to the lady, like, I really like, I quietly put my hands in my pockets and I walked up to the lady and as I'm walking up, the lady's just like, and I'm like, I sit down and I'm like, hi. And then she's like, hi, how you doing? Some other girl goes, I like your hair. And then I look at the lady and her husband and I go, do you guys like my hair? And they're like, uh, yeah, 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 we like your hair. And I'm like, thanks. I'm like, cause you've been staring at me for the last like 10 minutes. So I was wondering what it was about me. And she's like, I'm trying to read your jacket. Me meanwhile, my jacket has humongous letters. That's like MLB championship. So I'm like, I don't know what, it, baseball is pretty American. So I don't know what you were looking at, but you try to do as best as you can with those situations. I'm not going to cuss anybody out. I'm just going to be like, have a conversation and be like, hi, you know, like Nebraska is very much like Texas. I own a property in Texas. I'm on tour in a tour bus. I have millions of followers on Facebook. Are you familiar with Facebook? I'm not the thug that you think I am. Thanks. And then you walk out and order a potato. And it was delicious, actually, in Nebraska. Thank you. I appreciate it. Pizzas were great, too. No, yeah, it was good. No, that, I had a steak salad and it had fries in it. And I was like, I feel very healthy and also very unhealthy at the same time. We were good. Yeah.
That is exactly what keeps me going, you know? Seeing Latinos, there's been definitely some Mexican people that are like, because of you, I am proud of being Mexican now when I, did, I wasn't before. That keeps me going. And also seeing like certain maybe racist people's mind or maybe semi-racist people's mind change when I have a real conversation with them and I'm like, hi, like I'm pretty normal. Like I speak English pretty properly. Like what do you, you know, that's what keeps me going. It's, it's changing the mindset that a lot of people have about my culture and that's how you know that I'm really in this for that, is that I really want to go one by one and change people's mindset about my culture.